Today we're going to do a little exploring up in the Highlands of Scotland. Check out a distillery that's new to me, but I'm seeing pop up more and more out there. And we're also going to take a look at this relatively young whiskey and see if it can hang with the big boys or if it ends up drinking the sage. So stick around and find out. Hello and welcome to Lacourious George. My name is George and today I'm getting curious with McNean's Organic Single Malt Scotch Whiskey. So McNean Distillery is pretty new to me but I'd seen it popping up around. And a few weeks ago, I had the opportunity to go to a tasting at a local liquor store of mine. By the way, I would recommend if you have the opportunity to go to your local liquor stores and they have tastings, definitely do it. It's a great way to try out new whiskeys. Take a look at something that maybe you wouldn't get by off the shelf before you end up spending your money on it. But it's really great at the tasting because not only did I get to learn about this whiskey I have in my hand, but also the other offering that they have here in the States um, all the different components that go into it, but then also learn a little bit about the distillery and the company itself, which is something that I really like to geek out about. So learning about the distillery and the company itself was really cool because they really set themselves apart from anything that's out there right now. Firstly, they're 100% organic and local, so they source all of their grains from local organic farms, which is really cool because you know exactly where your things are coming from. Another big thing that sets them apart is they have a very big focus on sustainability and being a sustainable producer of spirits. So whether you know all the ins and outs of whiskey production or not, the folks over at McNean, they're really focused on making sure they have the smallest impact possible, right down to running their entire distillery on renewable energy. So getting into the whiskey a little bit more, the distillery has only really been around since 2017. So they don't have stocks of whiskey that's been aging for years and years and years sitting around. So all of their releases are relatively young. This batch, KS17, uh, happens to be about four years old. Uh, based on the stats that I found online. So their single malt comes to us at 46% ABV. It's 100% organic Scottish barley, as I mentioned, and it's also completely unpeated as all of their whiskeys are. Now, what I find really interesting about the single malt is the cask makeup that they use to make this blend. So this particular batch is made up of 55% STR red wine casks, 43% ex-bourbon casks, and 2% Oloroso casks. What's really interesting is the STR casks because you don't see them used by many distilleries, let alone for the majority of the blend that they're putting together. So STR stands for shaved, toasted, and recharred. So what they're doing is they're taking these X red wine barrels, they're bringing them in, they're shaving them down, they're toasting them, they're recharring them before they put the whiskey into it. So enough of me yapping about this. Let me pour a glass and let's get to actually taste it. So it's got some decent color on it. Given that it's only four years old, it's kind of surprising it has as much color as it does. That's probably because of the, the cask usage. If you give it a little spin around the glass, it takes a little bit for those legs to start coming down. So it's got a little bit of an oily, thick consistency to it. So the nose I'm getting is definitely really light and fresh. Got some floral notes to it. Definitely getting some fruits in there too. Berries, getting some sweeter notes like some honey, so maybe some honey drizzled over fruit. Yeah, it's a really nice, enjoyable nose. So first sip, you're getting a little bit of the youth there for sure, but it definitely does not taste like it's only four years old. I think they did a really nice job with the blending here. The palate's really light here, just like the nose was. A little bit citrusy, definitely still getting some sweetness like a honey on it. I'm definitely getting some apricot or something like that in here. Now I'm not the biggest fan of apricot flavor in general, but I think the rest of the flavors in here kind of bring it together. And it's not objectionable, at least to me. I think the cast selection here does a really good job of kind of, I don't know, want, I don't know if I want to say hide the youth, but it, it does a good job of bringing enough other flavors in here. So I don't think I really notice that this is a younger whiskey at all. I would easily take this blind and think that it's much older than it is. The back end finish of it, you're getting some spiciness that's coming through, but it's really not too much. So as I was mentioning, just from looking in the glass, the mouthfeel is actually pretty thick and oily. Definitely coats your mouth with all the flavors, it sticks around for a little bit. So overall, I think this is a really enjoyable pour. As I was saying, the cask makeup I think is really interesting and adds a lot of really cool notes to it that you don't normally get out of, I think, a lot of whiskeys, especially this young. Um, 
I think it might do it good that it hides the youth a little bit because it really, you know, you could have told me this was six, seven, eight years old. I probably would have believed you um, because it definitely doesn't drink like a four year old, I don't think. You know, in terms of value on this bottle, um, it's obviously going to depend on where you're at and what you can get it for. But I think, you know, I paid 75, 80 US dollars for this, I think. Um, so it's a little bit on the expensive side, especially for a four year old. But I think it's worth it. I think the flavors and everything are there. Um, you know, it is an all organic whiskey. So that's probably going to put the price point up there just because the grains and everything else are more expensive. So they got to cover it some way. You know, but I'm really excited to see what Nian continues to do. Um, they're a smaller distillery, obviously newer. So those are the distillers that tend to experiment a little bit and push the boundaries. And, you know, I really like that in the whiskey. Things that are unique, like I said, you know, the cast breakdown for this is super unique. Um, I don't know if anyone else has anything like it. So I'm excited to see what else they're going to come up with and put out there in the market. If you've had a chance to try this, let me know what you think. Until next time, everyone stay curious and cheers.